President Uru Kenyatta makes history as the first Kenyan leader invited to the high-profile G7 summit. is among four African heads of state and government invited to the two-day event alongside Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari, Ethiopian Prime Minister, and Tunisia's Beji Esebezi. The invitation that those in the diplomatic circles consider significant as the continent fights for more visible role in decision-making. Kenya's... Um participation and President Kenyatta's participation uh, in this G7 meeting uh, is a really important uh, point in Kenya's uh, history. Uh, first, we can remember um, from 2013 uh, that we did not start here, uh, that there was initially uh, a lot of media, a lot of um, talk about uh, choices have consequences and the limiting of diplomatic contact. Uh, that was never a real thing, uh, we thought. Uh, and the development over the last few years has shown, one, that the Kenyatta administration um, has taken Kenya to a very prominent, prominent diplomatic uh, position. The meeting is centered on three pillars, namely citizen safety, economic, environmental, and social sustainability and reduction of inequalities, as well as innovation, skills, and labor in the age of the next production revolution. However, of key concern is citizen safety in the wake of terrorism. President Kenyatta is likely to highlight the impact of terrorism in the country's economy and that of the region, and the need to unite to win the war against violent extremism with Kenya having taken a lead role in the crisis in Somalia. The core and the foundation of all discussions, the security imperative is always number one. The other thing that I think is foremost in um, the thinking of uh, countries in the group of seven is a question of global migration as a result of insecurity. And of course, we have the highest number of um, refugees since the mid-1940s. Uh, and they are fleeing not just poverty, but they're fleeing war and terrorism. Uh, and that is why the agenda of global security uh, and global counterterrorism is so important. Here in Kenya, we are in a unique position. Kenyans are not running to get on rafts in the Mediterranean. And the reason is because Kenya has uh, stronger security, Kenya's economy, even though it does not produce the millions of jobs that are required, is still strong enough for most Kenyans to feel that their future is here in Kenya and not elsewhere. The summit will also give Kenya a platform to share the strides it has made in the technological advancements in the continent and our growing influence on the global stage. The number of M-Pesa transactions is the greatest mobile money transactions in the world. And what that says is not merely the technology of M-Pesa, but that Kenyan people are adopters of innovative technology. Uh, and what it, that means is that we can continually lead the world in how to, be, to integrate new technology and new communications abilities in our national and economic life. And that's, I think, what has made Kenya so interesting to technology investors in Africa. U.S. President Donald Trump will be one of four leaders making their first appearance at a G7. Alongside newly elected French President Emmanuel Macron, British Prime Minister Theresa May, and the host Italian Prime Minister Paolo Gentiloni. The G7 comprises of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, and the United States, all of whom represent over 60% of the global net wealth. Brenda Kiprono reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.